Hello, Kelsey Taylor here back again with another baseball movie review. Now, I just found this ball a short time ago. I was originally going to use it in the Sandlot review, but I couldn't find it first until it finally showed up. So, um, instead of the peace ball, I'm just using a regular baseball. Yeah. Feels more comfortable than playing it with a really softball instead of a, a softball, it says on here, but things, it's hard as a rock. Well, um, the movie I'm going to be talking about was released the same year as The Sandlot and produced by the same company as The Sandlot. Well, both films came out in 1993, produced by 20th Century Fox. And this came out like a few months after The Sandlot. Um, the, the movie I'm going to review today is Rookie of the Year. Um, it's about this boy who really wants to play baseball, and he ends up being picked for a game. And uh, he, he ends up like, like screwing it up. Like he accidentally throws the ball over the fence instead of to the to the team, um, and then and then and then one day he ends up breaking his right arm, and he and he, he has his cast on, and after his cast gets removed, um, he he like tests out his um right arm to see how it feels, and then like like in the movie whenever he uses his right arm to like throw a ball, it like makes this weird sound effect, which was make kind of really weird, and then he and whenever he he throws it, throws something, it throws like about like 100 miles per hour, like he, th he throws really hard, and then he and his friends go to, to a baseball game, and um, he, he, he throws the ball just like that back to the field, and then, and then he gets recognized, like they're, like, like basically they're interested in this kid, and then he becomes a pitcher for the Chicago Cubs, and becomes like, like a famous celebrity. Now, um, I have like, a few different opinions about this movie other than the Sandlot. Like, like this is like don't get me wrong, this is a good movie. It's real fun, but it has some weird parts in it. And this movie, get this, is directed by Daniel Stern, and um he also makes makes appearance in this movie. Like throughout, it's this crazy character who there's there's a funny scene where he gets himself locked between two doors at this hotel. Like he's he's a very very wacky and likable character surprisingly in this movie, and. um and who else is this? And the one, then the one actor who named for some reason was on Chris John Candy, who plays um the sports announcer. Why they left his name out, I really, I really don't know, because he was like a famous actor at the, at the time. And <clears throat> and I was like looking I, back into Daniel Stern. I was looking up some other stuff up that has he directed, because this is like the only movie he's directed. He directed some episodes of The Wonder Years, which just came out on DVD. And some other other shows like back in the 90s, like just basically the rest of work he does. Just like I'm sure he's still acting in movies, but um, like um, like when like when you see a movie that's directed by him, this is pretty much what you see is what you get. It's very little bit strange stuff in it, but it's a good film. I just didn't like it as much as The Sandlot, but um, but there's still this one scene towards the end which almost made me cry. If you see it, you know what I'm talking about. So, um, if you want to see this film, I would definitely, definitely check it out, but don't expect a complete masterpiece from this. Like I, like I said, it's not bad, but let me tell you, if they made a movie like this today, it would have been a lot, I think it would have been a lot more stupid. It wouldn't have the same heart, but I, 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 I don't know, it's just, it's just, this film's alright. That's all I can say. So, thanks, thank you guys for watching this video, and thanks for sticking around for these movie reviews. Um, I hope to do some more in the future. Um, I want to wish everybody happy Thanksgiving. And um, now would you excuse me? I'm going to go throw this ball at this weather we just had recently just, just to give it a lesson, you know? It just came really too early.